If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, welcome back. In this video, we are going to see about MITM proxy. How you can use MITM proxy in debugging and performance test scripting uh, effort and how you can uh, capture the network calls, how we can intercept, how we can modify on the fly so that uh, you can use it for the uh, debugging purpose. Before we see about MITM proxy, first let us see what is a proxy. So proxy means the authority to represent someone else. So in internet, whenever you have the proxy layer between you and the internet, suppose you are requesting a, re a website or a service, the request will be made on behalf of you. So the backend system will not know who is requesting what. Particularly, whenever you are in the corporate network, you will have the corporate proxy between you and the internet. But when you open your personal laptop proxy settings, most of the time it will be turned off unless you are working on the security testing or performance testing. By default, it will be turned off. But if you open any of the performance testing tool or some utility you are working, it will have the proxy settings somewhere in your configuration. So by default, it could be configurable, meaning you can change the proxy port number. For example, if you open uh, NeoLoad settings, you will have the uh, port number 8090 by default, but you can change before you start recording. Similarly, Fiddler Listens by default uh, 8686 and uh, JMeter also by default it configures uh, 8888. Similarly, Loadrunner also uses its own uh, Loadrunner proxy. But you can change this port number so that you can uh, interact with your application via the proxy and you can capture the requests. So apart from the tools in built-in uh, proxy in our uh, tools, you can also use the tools like MITM proxy. So MITM proxy is the free and open source interactive HTTPS proxy, which will be very useful for your debugging, uh, testing, and you can measure your security and also for the penetration testing. You can learn more about MITM proxy uh, in the mitmproxy.org website. You can also download the uh, installables from there. So MITM proxy consists of three tools, MITM proxy, which is the terminal UI, and MITM web is the web UI, and MITM dump is like the TCP dump. So we are going to leverage the MITM proxy in this video, and we can see how we can uh, intercept, modify, and record and replay the requests. You can install MITM proxy from the website. Uh, it supports Linux, Mac OS, Windows. In Windows, there are two types of installations. One, uh, you can use the .exe installable or you can install in the WSL, Windows subsystem for Linux. So in this video, I'm going to leverage the Windows subsystem for Linux because that is a recommended uh, installation for Windows. But if you want to install in the Docker or if you want to use some uh, uh, MITM proxy for the advanced use case, then you can use the pip command to install the MITM proxy. So now we will see how we can record uh, replay, uh, intercept, and modify the requests in MITM proxy in Windows subsystem for Linux. So in this terminal uh, session, I am going to type MITM uh, proxy uh, double uh, dash uh, version just to validate the MITM is installed properly or not. So now as you see, the version is uh, 6.0.2. And if you want to display the help commands, you can type MITM proxy hyphen H which will give you the uh, help commands for the MITM proxy. To capture the MITM proxy, you have to start MITM proxy. So let me clear the screen. Uh, to start MITM, you have to just type MITM proxy and hit enter. This will open the user interface of uh, MITM proxy. So at the top, you can see there is a header flows and bottom uh, left corner, we can see there are uh, no flows, zero out of zero and bottom right corner you can see the proxy port which is 8080 by default MITM proxy listens to the port number 8080 and now let us uh, start capturing a simple request and let us see how it is displaying in the MITM proxy to do that i am going to start another uh, terminal uh, session if you press alt shift d in windows uh, the session will be open in the right side and here you can uh, send a request so before that you need to make use of the uh, curl command. So just to type curl and type hyphen hyphen proxy to mention the MITM proxy address. So here you have to type HTTP local uh, host uh, 8080 and space and the website you are going to track. 
or capture so in this example we are going to use example.com and if you hit enter in the right side you will get the response of example.com but in the left side you can see the MATM proxy has captured the request which you have sent and also it displays the HTTP method, the URL, the response code, the type and the uh, size of the response and the response time. So now if I uh, send another request say uh, google.com https colon slash slash uh, uh, google.com you can see another request has been uh, traced and it is displaying the details in the left side. So if you activate the left terminal session, you can navigate between the flows using the up and uh, down arrow keys. And if you want to go inside the flow, you can uh, highlight the flow. And if you hit enter, it will go inside the flow. So if you go inside the flow, you can see there are three tabs, request, response and detail. You can navigate between these three tabs using the right and left arrow. So now I'm just uh, navigating between uh, the tabs and you can see the details accordingly. So it's a terminal user interface. So you can use the uh, up and uh, up, left, uh, down and right arrows keys just to navigate. And if you want to display some help command, you can type question mark, it will display the key bindings. So commonly used key bindings, uh, key bindings for this view and also the uh, global uh, key bindings. So this is very helpful in case if you are not sure how to navigate. And if you press Q, it will go back to the previous view. So now we are inside the flow. Now if you want to see all the flows, you can type Q. Now we are back to all the flows view. So right now we have two out of two and uh, the proxy is of course 8080. So this is how you capture the request in MATM proxy and you will see the response and other details by navigating inside the MATM proxy terminal UI. Okay, now what we can do is we can uh, modify the request. So we can send one request but we can intercept that request and we can modify and then we can uh, send the modified request in MITM proxy. So how we can uh, do that. So for that you have to set the uh, regular expression so that uh, MITM proxy will know when to intercept the request. So I'm going to use the uh, regular expression. In MITM proxy it uses the Python based uh, regex uh, syntax. You can refer the documentation uh, to write how you can uh, write advanced regex for your uh, application. But in this case, I'm going with uh, some simple example. So here, uh, I'm going to clear my screen and I'm going to uh, curl the uh, HTTP colon slash slash uh, water dot in uh, and I'm going to hit enter. So this particular website, it will give you the weather report in the terminal uh, UI. So right now, if I just uh, send a request, uh, just uh, wttr.n it will uh, get the uh, current locations weather report in a beautiful uh, terminal uh, interface. So here I'm going to send a request uh, like uh, say Chennai. So this is the request we are going to send but on the fly we are going to change this location to Cincinnati. So from Chennai to Cincinnati I'm going to change using the MITM proxy and we can see the intercepted request and the uh, details. So for that, first let me write the query here using the uh, proxy http colon slash slash localhost 8080 and don't hit enter because we have not set any intercept in our uh, MATM proxy. So just go back to your uh, MATM proxy and press I if you press I at the bottom of the screen, you can see the command line, uh, the input. So it is asking to set the intercept. So we are going to set the intercept using the uh, tilde symbol U and we are going to write the uh, syntax which say slash uh, Chennai. So now uh, this U stands for the URL and the URL is of course uh, HTTP colon uh, WTTRN uh, slash Chennai and 
the regex is a slash chennai so basically it should intercept this particular uh, request so i'm going to hit enter in the mitm proxy now the intercept is set to slash chennai and in the right side here in the curl command i'm going to hit enter so once you hit the uh, enter key as you see in the left side it is displaying in the red color so basically the request has been intercepted so it is not sent to the server yet so right now it is just uh, uh, halting MATM proxy web is halting our request because we have uh, intercepted the request and we are going to modify the uh, path to Cincinnati so how we can do that so right now uh, I'm just going back here and just uh, go to the request which you are going to modify and hit enter and here you can see uh, the request has been intercepted and there is no response and there is no uh, uh, detailed uh, view for the particular uh, for request so now what we can do is to change the path from Chennai to in Cincinnati we have to press E so if you press E key small e it will display which part you are going to edit so MITM proxy provides various options like cookies uh, URL encoded path method query reason etc so now our objective is to change the slash Chennai to slash Cincinnati so it would be the path right if you go to the path here you can see edit path components and I'm going to hit enter and I'm going to change this to Cincinnati and I'm going to press escape and Q so now if you see the get call it is changed from Chennai to Cincinnati basically we intercepted and we have uh, modified the path now we have modified the request now you need to send this request instead of Chennai it should be Cincinnati so to resume this process we have to press A so once you press A it will uh, send the modified request and you can see the output accordingly it is basically displaying the weather report of Cincinnati so this is how you intercept and send the modified request and get the response from the server and now uh, we have seen how we can capture how we can modify and intercept so now it is uh, time to replay the flow so how we can replay the flow to replay the flow I'm going to back to the flow view here and to replay you just highlight the request which you want to replay and hit R so whenever you press R the selected uh, request will be replayed so in this case I'm going to replay the uh, example.com and I'm going to press R so now as you see it is displaying the example.com and if you keep pressing R you will see different different uh, uh, response time similarly you just uh, keep pressing R you can see uh, the value and also it is displaying some message warning can't replay the flow so instead just to highlight the proper uh, so make sure you are sending the replay uh, by giving some uh, wait time so make sure you are replaying it properly otherwise you'll get the warnings so if you keep pressing uh, the r key it will display the can't replay live flow so you have to give some time so that uh, it will get the response and then you can replay the request again and again that's it guys from my side if you have any questions please let me know in the comments and thanks for watching have a good day if you like my dad's videos please subscribe to qa insights channel